Welcome to the action here on NWA Power. We are just four days away from our big Nuff Said pay-per-view, and we are starting off hot. A lot of unfinished business between the Thrill Billy and the most feared Kratos. Oh my, oh my God, Thrill Billy just got dumped to the outside. Kratos wasting no time here. He wants a fight and he wants it now, but Thrill Billy never backs down. He looks a little, uh, I don't Kratos, know look crazy at, right now, but uh, crazy is a good word, huh? Kratos is oh, here. Oh, here we go. Oh, the and here we go. Tim, this, what'd you say? This is the best shape I've ever seen Kratos in. I agree. Oh, yeah. Same could be said for Thrill Billy. They've cut yeah, a lot absolutely. of weight. Absolutely. Yeah, they both yeah, look great. They, they do. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah, that shows us that's not going to change the style of match at all. Definitely not. No. Like I said, unfinished business between these two. Nice Big slam. slam by Kratos. Thrill Billy had a win over Kratos in the first round of the Champion Series, and Kratos has not forgotten about that. Flying shoulder tackle by Thrill Billy to Kratos. Sends him down to the mat. Not enough to keep him down, though. Kind of just, I think it just angered him. Thrill Billy came up short during the ultimate team war on our first ever live power. Looking to change the momentum with this opening matchup here on NWA Power. Just four days from our big pay-per-view from Tampa, Florida. You can pre-order that pay-per-view right now at Fight. Oh, that's how we do it here, baby. Fight.tv, oh, ladies and gentlemen. You go. This is getting very okay, close. Okay, Thrill Billy. Look at those guns. Okay. I don't think that's phasing Kratos. I think no. it's just pissing him off. Yeah, you're just going to make him mad. Yeah, you don't want to piss off Kratos. Look at that. Chuck didn't even phase Thrill Billy. He didn't even flinch. Both men have the crazed look, of, look in their eyes right now. Oof. No clubs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they are firing off lab rounds, Tim. Uh, they sure are. Oh, this Oh and this is exactly God. what you would expect from these two guys. Yes, blow for blow. Kratos sends him with a bundle up and over by Thrill Billy. Ah, oh, big boot to the face of Kratos. But Kratos is right back up. And he's stunned though, you can tell he's a little stunned. Scoops him up. Slams him down. Covered by Thrill Billy on Kratos. Shoulders down, kick out. Dropped hold to the second turnbuckle. Thrill Billy going base first. And this is, these guys are going, I mean, they're just going toe to toe. It, as soon as one guy gets the momentum, the other guy's going to take it back. Yeah. Kratos now choking Thrill Billy on the bottom rope. on the outside. She's very concerned for her man right now. Silas, the crowd favorite here in Knoxville. Her up just down the road from this convention center. Kratos looking to power him up. Wow. So impressive by Kratos. Oh my gosh, cover now. Shoulders down, kick out. Oh yeah, one count. The amount of strength and power it takes by Kratos to, to maneuver that move. Ooh. Ooh. Sliding knee strikes. Oh. Again into the cover, could have a kick out by the Thrill Belly. And this is where Kratos is most comfortable. You get it. You get a guy on the mat and you just ground and pound. Sure. Yeah. And you try to damage him any way you can. And this Knoxville crowd is trying to not to let it happen. Fire for Thrill Billy. Scoops him up, slams him down. Kratos knows he needs to do something big. Is Kratos looking to go up top here? There you see Pollo Del Mar on the outside. He's got to do it quick, though, because he's given through Billy a chance to recover. Kratos. Kratos going up top. 
We don't this is see not a place we see Cuernos go very often. Real Billy to his feet, though, to the little got him by the beard. No, no, no. Oh, got him by the beard and a very, very other place. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, he definitely felt that. Sensitive other place, I meant to say. And boy, oh, boy, did he Joe. launch Kratos. Just, just say it, Joe. We're all adults here. <laughs> Crashing in the corner. And Thrillbilly gaining oh, a lot of momentum. Oh my He's starting to feel like a freight train. Woo! Big splash. Kratos is rocked. He sure, he sure is. Will he recover from this? Thrillbilly showing that power, showing that strength. Kratos going for a ride. Wow! It was not pretty, was effective, and he's uh -oh. calling for it. He's calling for the thrill ride, baby. Oh, Kratos Will in trouble. Will Kratos take another ride? Kratos On the most dangerous here. move, the thrill ride. Oh. Kratos looking to counter. Pop up, power bomb. Shoulders down, kick out. Well, he was able to avoid the move, which <laughs> worked in his favor just fine. The look on Kratos' face right now. I mean, both these guys are just dropping hammers Giving on each other. All. Yeah, it's, and each one of them thinks they have a they have it won and taking it away from them. Yeah, right back to his strength. Whew. We've seen this before. Uh -oh. Will he be able to do it uh -oh. this deep into the match? Does he have the strength to launch him? And he does. Wow. wow. I am. Oh my gosh. Oh, Poyo. Poyo. Poyo's in the match. Poyo's gonna get disqualified! Poyo, that's not... Oh my god! Poyo got exploded! Poyo got blown up! What? Kratos has completely leveled Poyo what? to the floor! What? Kratos, Rolls him roll up. up! Shoulders down, kick out! Oh my god, is Poyo alive? No, she's out. She, she got hit on oh, the rising knee strike! She's not moving on the floor, guys. Drew out! He's out! That's gotta be it. Completely knocked out. The winner of this match, the most feared, Kratos! And Pollo Del Mar coming in to try to save her boy, her love, the love of her life is completely laid out. Kratos just ran through her with a full head of steam, and it is now tied 1-1. In Thrill Billy versus Kratos. What a match. That was intense. What a way to start off an episode of NWA Power. We're going to have to have somebody check on Boy, Poyo she's Del still Mar. Not moving, Joe. Oh, she's out. She's not I mean, moving. That, that's that's a heartbreaking to see, but you know, she had to step in. Yeah. And she's you see the Thrill Billy getting Poyo onto her feet. That's good to see. And look at the look at Pil Thrill Billy. He's going to take his woman oh, home. Oh, I'd love to see this. Maybe give her a massage. Yeah, you think? Nice. Bubble uh, bath right, or something. Joe, all right, Joe. All right. This is like, you no. Know, they'll lick the rooms and they'll come back. It. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to an exciting episode of NWA Power. Four days away from our big pay per view. It's Joe Galli, Tim Storm, and it's time. It's time. It's velvet time, baby. Big, welcome. Big time. Big time matchup <laughs> yes. here because we do have a champion series matchup. Mims is cashing in his champion series title shot. He is going up against Jordan Clearwater, trying to become the next NWA television champion. The championship yep. he's been chasing for a yeah, long yeah. time. Big matchup also. Jax Dane is taking on Tom Latimer. Wow. And so much more. Welcome to NWA Power, the NWA, where we see wrestling as it's meant to be. Tag team match is one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first, 
This is Robin and Charlotte Renegade. They are the Renegade Twins. Renegade Twins have an incredible opportunity right now. If they can be victorious in this next matchup right here on Power, they are going to get a title shot for our NWA World Women's Tag Team Championships at the pay-per-view. They look like they are ready for this match, too. There you see Charlotte on the left, Robin on the right. The Renegade Twins are a force to be reckoned with. And their opponents. She is one half of the NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions. This is El Anvi. This is Roxy. They are pretty empowered. And as a stipulation of this match, Kenzie Page will be handcuffed to ringside as so she cannot interfere in the contest. Whoa, wait a minute. That's breaking news Oops. from Kyle Davis. And I think that, that that's a great call because we've yeah, seen is. interference from these three. Kenzie Page does not like the fact that she is not going to be able to be involved in this matchup. She is going to be handcuffed. What, where, where did you get those handcuffs, Kyle? Uh, do we even, are they furry? They're those pink, are pink, pink fuzzy furry. handcuffs. I would not put well, past Kyle Davis to have pink furry Kyle handcuffs. Davis is a newly single man, and he is exploring. This is true, ladies. Come get you some yeah, Kyle Davis yeah, while he's come, still available. Obviously, you can see what he's into. He comes with his own pink furry handcuffs, too. Uh, and much more. And much <laughs> more. You never know what's in the pleasure chest of Kyle the Davis, pleasure. but let's get focused oh, on the matchup here. Here we go. Kenzie is livid, but there you see Scott Wheeler, the handcuffs. I'm not gonna see What are you doing? What are you doing? Kenzie play Page begging and pleading that she's not gonna cheat, but cannot be trusted. Um, I think I'd rather stay in the back than be out here and be handcuffed. Uh, well, you gotta be able to, to keep the, an eye on I, her. I'd rather be in the back. I would rather not, not the be out here The handcuffs are being attached to that turnbuckle. These look pretty, though. And they're more comfortable than standard handcuffs, I assume. And they're empowered, Not that I would too. know. Um, yeah, Joe, how would you? I, that's what I'm saying here. Okay. Uh, did he get those handcuffs? Did Kyle get those handcuffs from you, Joe? That he, I don't did do hand-me-downs with any of my toys, thank you very much. Ah. Here we go, starting things off. Robin Renegade. Going Ella up against Envy. Ella Envy. Oh, ringing those forearms. Oh, rocking her. Rocking her. Dear God. Robin Renegade had a great showing during the Ultimate Team War matchup. Came up short as a last minute addition to Team Tyrus. Ooh, that stiff forearm. Charlotte. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> These women are vicious. Oh, oh back of the head. Geez. Double knees. Ooh, Ella Envy in a lot of pain right now. Did some damage. Hooks the outside leg, kick out by Ella. And there you see Kenzie trying to fight off, trying to break those handcuffs. I don't think she's going to have much luck. Charlotte Renegade now the legal member for the Renegade Twins. Tag is made. Robin back in the match. Ella Envy has been isolated from Roxy, who I, from what I understand, is still a pledge for Pretty Empowered. Not a full member. Black tag and bullseye. Kick to the face was right on point. I think Roxy is definitely like. I would say that she's earned it, but way. obviously they, Pretty Empowered does not observe the free bird rules, so she is not technically a tag team champion. It looks like Roxy's tactics. I mean, I, I, she looks like she's been taking pages out of the book of Ella Envy as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure she has. There's been a big change. We saw it with Kenzie Page, and now we're definitely seeing it with Roxy. And I'm, I'm digging the outfit, too. I love the pink and black. I love the fishnets. She definitely looks the part oh, to yeah. be a part They're of Ella. They're definitely a cohesive empowered. unit. For sure. Sends Robin into the corner. Tag is made. In comes Ella Envy. Ooh. Kick to the gut. And just stomping away right in the on corner. The chest. Gotta be careful not to get disqualified once again. 
If the Renegade Twins are victorious, they're gonna get a title oh. shot in just four days. At our big pay-per-view, Nuff said, Matt Cardona versus Tyrus in the main event. Hook in the leg, shoulders down, kick out. Yeah, her eyes rolled back her, her head sure on did. that. You that, saw that yeah, too, that was right? tough. Shoot. She might have, I mean, she might have lost consciousness for a second there. Big time matchups at the pay-per-view. Homicide's gonna be taking on Sion for the NWA National Heavyweight Championship as well. Ooh, double D knees to the back. Oh, she holds on to the ropes, choking her. Absolutely punishing Robin. Ella, I'd I'm be saying almost, I'm almost proud of you. Almost. Um, See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know yeah. how much more of that I would take if I was Roxy, because I mean, I feel like, like you guys said, she's more than proven herself to be a legitimate part of Pretty Empowered. I mean, what does Kenzie Page have to say about this, or is it just Ella Envy calling the shots all the time? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. These are massive haymakers. Oh my God being traded between Robin and Roxy, and Robin kicked to the chest. Oh, double double clothesline. Wow, Both it's stereo. Give yeah. it to the commentary yeah. booth. Kenzie Page, she is going nuts right now. She's beside herself as she's handcuffed to the ring. Unable to interfere, unable to help. It's like Roxy's been able to get to her feet. Oh. Roxy's almost there. Oops. Gotta make the tag. Robin, tag to Charlotte, tags made to Ella, here we go. Charlotte getting the early advantage, big clothesline. Follows up for the second. Rocks. Goes for the third, Ella ducks. Oh! Fez press, full mount, ground and pound. Ella's trying to cover up. Ella Envy throws the line. Go behind by Charlotte, Charlotte. Hook in the leg. That fisherman suplex. But the bridge could be Beautiful. enough. We're looking for that title shot at Nuff said. So oh, look at that. It's Ky Ky That's Kylie. Wait Kylie minute. Page. That's Kenzie Page's little sister. That's Kenzie Page's little sister. What is she doing? She's trying she to get She came out of the audience. Off. She came out of the crowd. Oh my God. Roxy. All oh, hell has broken. Takes down Robin. Charlotte's right there. Oh my God. Kylie Page, I think, passed some keys. Handcuff keys. Oh, there she is up on the apron, causing the distraction. It completely backfired. Uh oh, not She's looking up. good for Ella. She's up. Off the ropes. Bullseye. Into the cover. Shoulders down. Got they quench their ticket to Nuff The winners of this match, the Renegade Twins. Pretty Empowered tried to pull out all the stops, tried to get every advantage they could in this matchup, but they just couldn't do it. The Renegade Twins were just too tough, and now Robin and Charlotte, they're headed to Tampa, they're headed to Nuff Said, and they could be one step away at holding gold here in the NWA. Congratulations, ladies. We'll be, we'll be right back after this. The National Wrestling Alliance returns to Tampa Saturday, February 11th for the sold-out Nuff Said pay-per-view, available on Fight TV. Who will be the undisputed NWA World's Heavyweight Champion? Tyrus defends the 10 pounds of gold against Matt Cardona in the main event. Special guest two-time Hall of Famer Bully Ray joins the commentary team to call the action for the historic moment. NWA National Champion Sion defends his title against the notorious legend Homicide. After a brutal beatdown in Knoxville at the hands of Psycho Love, Camille defends her NWA World Women's Championship against Angelina Love in a no disqualification match, and Tom Latimer faces fodder in a Singapore cane match. One of the hottest feuds in the NWA is heated up again as former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch takes on former national champion Chris Adonis. EC3 looks to control the narrative of the NWA by taking on a debuting rare breed Kevin Kiley. The NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Alex Taylor cashes in his Champion Series title shot. He's looking to take down the current champion and second generation wrestling star, Terry Morton. The NWA World Tag Team Champions Beastia, Say 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 and Mecha Wolf will defend their titles against the masked mercenaries damage and carnage of blunt force trauma managed by Aaron Stevens. Plus, Max the Impaler, Natalia Markova, Mercurio, Genocide, 
Thrill Billy Silas Mason, and much more. The legacy and tradition of the NWA lives on. Pre-order the Nuff Said pay-per-view February 11th, only on Fight TV. Tickets still available for NWA Power and NWA USA television tapings February 12th and 13th. Tickets and pay-per-view information available at NWATIX.com. The National Wrestling Alliance. Wrestling as it's meant to be. Please welcome Matt Cardona and Mike Knox. Gentlemen. What are you wearing? Didn't you get married last week? I didn't get married. And I mean, I, I just can't get over it. All right. What's the question? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I, have a jo- I have a job to do here. Yes. Okay, so tonight you fight for the key stipulations of the main event of Nuff Said. Main event. Cardona versus Tyrus for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Get my title back, that's right. Mm-hmm. For tonight, okay, I, I shouldn't even be wrestling. I've already wrestled the amount of days that I agreed upon. I'm doing this because this match is important to me. It's important to us. It's important to the future of the NWA. When we win, we get to call the shots. And we have a third man, a third partner, and he's dangerous. He's big. He's nasty. He's a proven winner. And Tyrus, he doesn't like you. Right, Knox? I think so. You you haven't told me who he is yet. I'm going to tell you. I'm just not, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling the people. Yeah. Well, what? You can tell me. I'll I'll tell you when we're done. When we're done. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thanks. Thanks. The following TV title match is one fall with a 6.05 time limit. Introducing first from Clarksville, Tennessee, this is Big Strong Mims. Big Strong Mims has been in the hunt for the TV title, and now he has this Champion Series title shot, and he is cashing in just days before our big pay-per-view in Tampa. Big Strong Mims. I feel it's like, not gonna make history. I was gonna say, I, I feel like every time we see Mims, he looks better and better. Look, I mean, look at the shape he's in. He yeah, looks he's working hard. Phenomenal. He looks great. And we'll talk a little bit more about how this is a big moment of redemption for Mims in just a moment. And his opponent accompanied by Black Cheese. He is the NWA World Television Champion from Dallas, Texas. This is the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. As we mentioned before, Mims has been in the hunt for that television championship. He lost twice to Tyrus. One of those occasions was in this very building here in Knoxville at Always Ready, where Mims was sent to the hospital. And that's what I love about Mims. He refuses to get up. He will give up. He will face any challenge in the quest for greatness here in the NWA. And for him, that means becoming the television champion. But he's got to go through Jordan Clearwater, who already has a couple of victories over Mims. The first was during the Revolution Rumble with our friends over with Wildcat Sports following Hard Times 3. The match went to the 6.05 minute time limit, making it a victory for Jordan Clearwater. Jordan Clearwater, another guy who's winning that championship, motivated him, and he looks great. I mean, he is, he is absolutely working hard. Already has one successful defense against Mercurio. So he is potentially on his way to cashing in that lucky seven and earning that shot against whoever would be the NWA World's heavyweight champion. And we'll find out the stipulation for that world championship match at the pay-per-view during our main event in six-man tag team action. So stay tuned to this rockin' episode of NWA Power. That beautiful television title belt you see. Mims getting a good look at what he wants to have around his waist. Worked so hard in the champion series. And I have to say, I, I, oh, come on. Jordan Clearwater going to get the gyrations going. Bell is rung, 6.05 minute time limit is going. Mims knows he has to work fast. He's had opportunities at this championship before. No. 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 
bell rang, the clock's running. I mean, yeah, Mims, you got to get on him. Don't wait for him to come to you. Oh, you can be waiting all night. All right, enough procrastinating, Jordan. Let's go. And Jordan Clearwater out onto the him, apron. Mims, just get him, just get him. Uh, and oh. Mims, Mims has realized he's made a fatal error in letting the clock run. What does this knows, say about what kind of competitor Jordan Clearwater is? Do you know what I mean? It's exactly what we what we see it's throughout like, the entire Idolmania sports management team. Like, I, I just don't get it. You're a fighter. Get in there and fight. Come we on. saw we saw a little bit of this in Louisiana too, though. I mean, he he kind of chose the the delay strategy, and he knows if he could just outlast the six or five, it doesn't matter how good Mims is or what Mims does. He just needs to he just needs to beat the clock. At the same point, you see that golden boot on the right foot of Clearwater. If he can deliver that Midas touch golden boot, it will be lights out for Mims. And again, Clearwater out to the outside. Running out the play clock, as it were. He has all the advantage. But here comes Mims. Right hand on the outside, got to get Clearwater in the ring. Can only win by pinfall or submission in the ring. Shot to the gut, the big shot. Mims is now rolling, but he's going to have to make up some time. Knee to the side of the face. He's, yeah, he's yelling, get up. Reverse atomic drop. Wind it up. Big clothesline. Covering up by Mims. In the driver's seat, hooking the leg. Kick out. Hey, but you got at least he's he's going off offensively and he's trying to make that pin. I like that. Grabbing the hair, not wasting any time. He's frustrated with Jordan's antics. Trying to run out the clock, but the next snap off that top rope. Oh, and using the middle rope. Sending it directly into the throat of Big Strong Mims, into the cover with a cross face kick out. And now just oh, choking Clearwater the life. Choking him. Come on. Now we see a strategy from Jordan Clearwater trying to take all the wind out of the sails of Big Strong. Yeah, okay, that's, you know, cheating or not, that's not a bad move. You just, you know, we talked about being a competitor. What kind of competitor is he? And, you know, at least he's got a strategy. It's a dirty one, but it's a strategy. We'll see more members of Idolmania Sports Management in our main event when Tyrus and two of his team are gonna go up against Cardona and two of his team. Six man tag team action in our main event tonight to determine the stipulation for the big pay-per-view showdown at Nuff Said. Raining down fists. The clock is ticking here, guys. Yeah, Mims has gotta recover, he's gotta bounce back. Here you go, Mims. And Clearwater knows it too. I mean, you can tell he's, he's taking his time on purpose. Yeah, I mean, everything is, is calculated. It's slow. It's strategic. Um, him started to get a little bit of momentum. The Knoxville crowd coming alive. The big strong Mims. Clearwater vertical suplex. Suplex to Mims. Cover by Clearwater. Cover kick out. Got that knee across the oh, throat man. of Mims right now. Again, targeting the neck, trying to restrict the airflow going into Mims. I mean, we've got to be getting close, right, to the, oh, the yeah. time limit yeah, here. Time is ticking away. And I will bet you that that Jeez, Jeez knows the time to the second. I guarantee he's oh, over he, there. Yeah, you got it built into you. Yeah. He doesn't need to see the clock on the screen like you do seeing it at home. He's gonna feel it in his bones. With that chin lock locked in. Mims getting to his feet. Clubbing blow from oh. Clearwater. Side headlock. Mims trying to fight back, trying to get out of this, trying to get some steam back. But Clearwater, every time Mims starts to, starts to build up a little bit of momentum, Clearwater just beats him right back down. He scored with that one. There you go. Clearwater was not expecting that. Nice. 
And he turned him inside out. Well, stay on him, stay on him. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you can't waste time here. The clock, yeah. Clearwater pulls him up. Shoulders are down. One count. Mims pulls him up. Cool boy. Shoulders down. Kick out. So close. Clearwater, he's calling for that boot. Oh, he got caught. Mims catches it though. Pushes him down. Tried to go for the Midas touch a little too early. Mims, oh, he's got the bear hug. He's got a bear hug locked in. What a way to end this match if, if Clearwater would submit. Oh, but Clearwater digging his thumbs uh, into the throat, now backed into the ropes, forces the break. Mims, again with the bear hug. Oh, oh the, the bell is wrong. The 605 time limit has expired. Oh, no. Heartbreaking, heartbreaking for Big Strong Mims. Uh, Mims just was getting count. some steam back. That will count as a victory for Jordan Clearwater uh, in his it's okay, lucky Mims. seven. It's okay. Mims has to be frustrated yeah, that he absolutely. cashed in his Champion Series title shot and it slipped through his fingers yeah. once again. <laughs>
and his opponent. He is one half of the NWA's power couple. From Chesterfield, England, this is the Michael King of all evil, Tom Latimer! Tom Latimer knows he has a big test in front of him. He's very familiar with Jack Stane. He knows just how powerful Jack Stane is. He's gonna have to give it everything he's got in this matchup and also somehow leave something in the tank for just four days. He's got that big no disqualification intergender tag team match where him and our NWA World Women's Champion Camille are gonna be taking on the team of Psycho Love, Angelina Love, and Fodder. Must see match. Oh yeah, by the 100%. Way. <laughs> Could steal the show. Yeah. But speaking of stealing the show, it might be this match up here. And Jax Dane. I mean, I, we saw it during the, the debacle of the wedding of Mae Valentine and Aaron Stevens. Chris Silvio didn't have an objection to oh, yeah. the proceedings, but he did have the objection that Jack Stain was not on the live power. Which had nothing to do with the wedding. Nothing to do with that moment, but, but okay. Silvio. Got to get your licks in where you can, I guess. Yeah, he was able. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. I, I, I don't exactly. He just had some words for he you, He had Joe. some words for me. Randy I'm not was exactly sure why. Tim. Why well, do they always mess with you guys? I, I don't know. They take out their frustrations on commentary. Like, what did we do? Just doing my job. And, no. and again, Jack Stane playing the mind games by leaving the vest on. Exactly. Signifying that, hey, this will be over before it starts. Yeah. I won't need to break a sweat, but you're going up against Tom Latimer. Yeah. You will definitely break a sweat with Tom going up against Latimer, for sure. Former NWA Tag Team Champion in his own right. Always in such phenomenal shape. And there he goes again. Tom obviously is a, is a powerhouse, but yeah. man, Jack Stane, that, oh, that's somebody who, yeah. yeah, that's somebody though that, that can actually go toe to toe with him. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Tom. Off. Goes for the shoulder tackle. Oh my God, Jack Stane answering with a shoulder tackle of his own. Oh, and there's not something you see a lot of. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? What is Silvio doing? What is he's he got, drawing up right now? He's got that pad of paper. Come on. What is oh, it? it's an autograph. Oh. I emailed you a little while back. Um, oh, uh, it's one. signing autographs for fans, I guess. Oh, and Tom Latimer. Okay, that works, I guess. Huh? Fan serving as yeah, a distraction. You, you can't turn your back on Tom Latimer. No. Did the fan just serve as a distraction? I, I think so. I don't know. Oh, that man. was the hubris of Chris Silvio Esquire. That's Tom Latimer going to work on the outside. Tom, Tom doesn't need a ton of distraction to take over on somebody, but man, he, he definitely is going to use it if you give it to him. Jax again face first off of the apron. Oh gosh. Up to the count of eight, Jax Dane sent in. Sylvia looked like he was winding up something. Uh, uh, and again, uh, uh, wrapping his foot. Hey! Wrapping around. And the distraction, but still Referee. the elbow. Scott Wheeler, did he see it? Did he see it? I don't know. I, 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 I don't think so. Either way, it was not It was effective enough to get this opening for Jack State. Oh, and just a blatant chop block to the back of the knee. I never understand this. A man the size of Jack Stane. I mean, he's a very talented wrestler, too. Why does he need Silvio? to interfere in his matches. Why can't you? Uh, he, <laughs> oh, no, no, not this. Jax, don't do this, don't do this. Oh, my God, into the steal. Well, but I wonder if it's if it's not necessarily a need to. I don't think he needs But why it. would, as a man, especially of that size, yeah. and he's an extremely talented wrestler, Jack Stane, why would you want someone fighting your fight for you? For me, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a big person. Like, I'm not a tall person. And I was never a tall competitor. And... I, I, I guess there comes a point in time where you just have to question, like, a, as a man, uh, like I said, of that size, why would you want someone else fighting your battle for you? I, and I can't, I don't... I don't get it. I no, just and I, it. I guess what I'm struggling with is I don't know that Silvio's fighting his battle for him. I think that as, as, a, as somebody who's in competition who gets paid to win, sure. if you can get the slightest advantage, then you, I think you're going to take it. Okay, I, I mean, I see that. I, I agree. Oh, and again, Silvio! See, Silvio again going after the leg. 
But see, Scott Wheeler's back was turned. L Latimer was already down. Yeah, he no, was I'm already with you. injured. I get it. Jax, I'm all he had to do was just stay on top of Latimer. They are just to decimating each, to each the left their own, lane. I guess. Now I, can, now I completely get where you're coming from, and I know this is going to sound kind of strange, but in a way, it is a compliment to Tom Latimer that they see that is the, how big I of a threat so. he is. Yes, absolutely. That they know that they, they have to take two of them to, and to take advantage of. And he knows he's going to need Silvio to go up against Latimer. I agree. I agree. And if you're Angelina Love and Fodder watching this match in the back, you have to be very happy with what you're seeing. Tom Latimer. But now he's somehow found a way to get to his feet oh, only man. for a moment. See, and Jack Stay loves the fact that the crowd hates him. He, he feeds on that. Screaming about Camille right into the face of Tom Latimer. And the Dane event is standing tall, but no, Tom Latimer's right there. Schoolboy, shoulders down, kick out. Go on, another, another schoolboy. Staying on him. Baited him in. Goes to drop that elbow. Yeah. Latimer able to move out of the way, avoiding injury there. He's holding that knee. Latimer on cork and right hands. Drops Dane in the corner. And he is Breaking just him bringing down. it. Jeez. Look at all the damage that's been done. He that knee, yeah, barely put any weight on his left leg. Ooh. He can barely balance up there. Can he make all ten? Oh, couldn't make it to ten. Oh, so close, though. And here comes Jax. Oh, with a huge shoulder oh, block. Uh oh. Oh no, come on. Oh no, no, no. Again, no. again Not with the, the oh, injured leg. Again. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do it, Jax. Oh, and oh. there you go. Look at the power, the strength of the legs of Tom Latimer. Pulled Jax him in. That's yeah, why you never skip leg day, Joe. You That's never it. skip leg day. Tom Labbert having a hard time. Yeah, he's limping around. Oh, man. Oh, I think that might have taken a lot more out of him than he was able to handle as far as that injured knee goes. To power Jack Stane oh, over that Jack's top Jack's right there. Oh, not looking good for Latimer He's got right the now. keys out. He wants to pop the trunk. Ooh, wait, wait. Latimer Transition's looking for the down. cross face. Cross face. He's got cross it. face. Does he have it deep enough. Oh, but look at his legs, though. His oh, it's legs Silvio up on the apron. He Whoa, threw he's, in the skull. Wait, he's throwing he in threw the, in the towel. towel? The winner of this match, Tom Latimer. Well, that was unexpected, to say the least. I mean, Jack State was only in the crossface for a moment of seconds, and then Silvio jumped on it, the apron to throw in the towel. I guess he wait thought Jack had nowhere wait, to wait, go. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Sylvia wants the towel so, back, and Vladimir's like, ah, uh, no. I think he was looking at long-term investment. I, if, if it snaps Jack Stane's uh -oh. arm, his investment is gone. All right, if I'm Vladimir right now, I'm de definitely taking advantage of, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Just leave the scarf. Just leave it, Chris. Well, I recommend you running. Uh -huh. Oh, I got caught. Oh, exactly. no, 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 no. Looking for the pile driver. Oh, my God. Uh, Silvio able to escape with his life. Come at you, Tom. Latimer's leg gave out. Okay. Hey, Latimer look. put the fear of God We got to take a quick break. When we come back, it's our main event, which will determine what type of match we'll be having for the World Heavyweight Championship at Nuff Said. <laughs> The National Wrestling Alliance returns to Tampa Saturday, February 11th for the sold-out Nuff Said pay-per-view, available on Fight TV. Who will be the undisputed NWA World's Heavyweight Champion? Tyrus defends the 10 pounds of gold against Matt Cardona in the main event. Special guest two-time Hall of Famer Bully Ray joins the commentary team to call the action for the historic moment. NWA National Champion Sion defends his title against the notorious legend Homicide. After a brutal beatdown in Knoxville at the hands of Psycho Love, Camille defends her NWA World Women's Championship against 
against Angelina Love in a no disqualification match, and Tom Latimer faces fodder in a Singapore cane match. One of the hottest feuds in the NWA is heated up again as former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch takes on former national champion Chris Adonis. EC3 looks to control the narrative of the NWA by taking on a debuting rare breed Kevin Kiley. The NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship is on the line as Alex Taylor cashes in his Champion Series title shot. He's looking to take down the current champion and second-generation wrestling star, Terry Morton. The NWA World's Women Tag Team titles are on the line as Pretty Empowered face the Renegade Twins. The NWA World Tag Team Champions Beastia, Say 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 and Mecha Wolf will defend their titles against the masked mercenaries damage and carnage of blunt force trauma managed by Aaron Stevens. Plus, Max the Impaler, Natalia Markova, Mercurio, Genocide, Thrill Billy Silas Mason, and much more. The legacy and tradition of the NWA lives on. Pre-order the Nuff Said pay-per-view February 11th, only on Fight TV. Tickets still available for NWA Power and NWA USA television tapings February 12th and 13th. Tickets and pay-per-view information available at NWATIX.com. The National Wrestling Alliance. Wrestling as it's meant to be. Austin Idol, get your blood hair cut grass over here right now. I want to fight your son, your son. If you got the cojones, tell your son I want a match at Tampa, Florida for the national heavyweight title. You're not ready for the big league. I'm not ready. Mr. Davis, I got this. I'm not ready. Look at the cameraman. Look at him. Look at him. Don't look at me. Look at the cameraman. Wait the last time let somebody kick your ass. And it's me. What if I, I give you a free shot to hit me in the chin. I do not hit kids, but I will fuck you up. following six-man tag team match is one fall with a 20-minute time limit and will determine the stipulation of the main event of Nuff Said. Introducing first, the team of Matt Cardona, Mike Knox, and Rolando Freeman. What? Of all the what people is? that Matt Cardona could have picked for this six-man match, he's picked Rolando Freeman? You know, I really like Rolando Freeman too, but I don't know if I could like him after he's Teaming with the Cardona. Well, but think about this though. The easiest, the best, the smartest way to not get beat by somebody, have him on your team. I think Cardona fears Rolando. That's what I'm saying. And you know, Rolando had Cardona's number ever since beating him at NWA 74. Cardona was finally able to beat Rolando during the Revolution Rumble episodes of NWA Power. And Rolando was really on a roll during the Champion yeah. Series. So if you think about it, if you look at it statistically, just at the numbers, Rolando's a good pick. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got Mike Knox. That mountain of a man has been instrumental in Cardona winning the 10 pounds of gold against Trevor Murdoch. Okay. And their opponents, <laughs> accompanied by Black Cheese and Aaron Stevens, this is the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus and the hired guns of Blunt Force Trauma, Carnage, and Damage! Dear God. I am so surprised, and I didn't think I could get more surprised by seeing Rolando in this match, but now you've got BFT, you've got Aaron Stevens. I wasn't expecting any of this. No, not at all. Uh, and it makes you wonder, what is Aaron Stevens doing after the the wedding fell oh apart God. on the live power, and now he's here with BFT, and they're teaming with Tyrus. I think he's just trying to fit in where he can, Joe. Get that camera out of my face! Both Aaron Stevens and Black G's do have their manager's licenses, and can be out here for this match. Once again, the winner of this match is going to be able to pick the stipulation 
Matt Cardona's made it very clear he's got a lot of things that he would like to choose, everything from a death match to making sure that his buddies could all be ringside. I mean, he is the self-proclaimed death match god, and I mean, I yeah. wouldn't want to get stuck in a death match with Matt Cardona. Tyrus so. wants it to be a one-on-one -on -one affair. Perhaps Tyrus would even, if he were victorious, could choose a cage match. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it opens the door to a lot of possibilities, and it all comes down to this main event matchup here on Power. As to what we're going to see in just four days in Tampa, Florida, you can pre-order the pay-per-view now on Fight TV. Tyrus is pretty happy with his choice of, of, of teammates sure. there. You see him yeah. smiling. He was going, you didn't expect this, did you? We also have to keep in mind, last time we saw Damage, she was on the wrong end of a champagne bottle. Oof. Had to get several yeah. stitches after that as well. Tyrus seems amused that they picked Rolando Freeman. I mean, despite the despite his lack of size, his you know, his success in the NWA, you can't oh, you can't he's, deny that. Oh, no yep. doubt. I think a lot a lot of wrestlers fear Rolando. You know, I do have to admit something. Like it, Tyrus, you know, we heard it during the live power. He does consider himself the disputed world heavyweight champion because he Cardona it. has never been pinned, has never submitted to lose the title, was forced to relinquish that championship in this very building at the always ready pay per view. And he, and he said, "I admit it. I'm I am the disputed." But he wants it. He wants the chance to change that. And he wants to do that one-on-one -on -one sure. in a ring with Cordona. And you know, Tyrus has called this era of professional wrestling where he is at the top of the mountain, the polarizing era. He is certainly a polarizing figure. As we go to this six-man tag team match, one ball to a finish. What is Aaron yelling about out I, here? I don't know. I think he's maybe he's offended that Blunt Force Trauma is getting a very thorough inspection from Kevin Keenan. Well... If you got nothing to hide. No. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Because exactly. he's got to do the same thing. He's keeping it fair. Kevin Keenan keeping it very fair. Checking for weapons. Mike Knox, essentially a walking weapon, a man of that size. And here's Matt Cardona. Well, size and intensity. I mean, yeah. that is a that is a violent man. All right. Gonna check the bow tie. Oh, well, yeah. All right, we're checking. Rolando. Rolando's not a threat. Come on. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is he? Wait, what's. What is he touching? Uh, I. I'm he not can't asking. take his trunks off. Well, I'm so. not asking what he's got in his trunks. I mean, it was below the belt, but kind of. Um, uh, you can't really. I mean. Uh, Avert your eyes, no. ladies and gentlemen. My oh, there's a chain. Oh, we got a chain. You Rolando, me. I'm shocked. But you know what? When you side with the Cardonas, I bet Matt put him up to that. What is going on right now? He's is doing the same in. thing as everybody else. That's fair. I'm wait just a minute. talking about oh, the chain wait. in his trunk. Don't tell me the knee pad is loaded, too. Rolando, no, don't disappoint me. Don't do it. He might have uh, just... Oh, it, he might another have chain. Did he just uh, rob a pawn shop? I know. A gold chain, I mean, metal is metal. Gold affected. and silver don't go together, Rolando. He, maybe he was just afraid someone might steal it in the no, back. No, I think, maybe. I think he was. I think he brought that wait in for, a minute. for the way in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's in the boot? Another... I don't know if it's a chain. Is it the boot or it was, is it a knee pad? I think it's in the boot. He has it in the boot. What is that? Is that... Guys, what is that? It's a weapon. It's, it's a spike. It's, 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 is that a, a shank? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I believe it is a shank. Perhaps a shiv, <laughs> depending on local if you're in lockup or not. Dear God, what? Why would he do that's that, guy? That's his personal shank. I, you can't take his a man's personal shank. You can't touch a man's shank. Well, but Kevin Keenan just did, because that's his job. But we've never seen Rolando even, resort to Even this Kyle before. Davis is confused being handed this weapon. No, I, I truly believe that it was for the weigh-in. He just wanted to weigh more. He was trying to load uh, some things in. Okay, and I think that's he, actually a good take, Tim. I, okay. It's an interesting theory. Carnage starting things off with Matt Cardona. 
six-man tag team action in our main event. Cardona wants Tyrus. He doesn't want to wait for the pay-per-view. He doesn't want to wait four days for enough. The tag is made. In comes Tyrus. Here comes the world's heavyweight champion. Asking you shall receive. Yeah. Tyrus said, come on. Tag. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my God. He set him up. There's the mind that's, games. That, Look at Tyrus. This is not fazed. But He's that's like, not right, a bad move. That's, not a, that's a smart. I mean, you're going to put your biggest man against my biggest man. We'll, see, we'll just see what happens. This is exactly why Matt Cardona wants to make sure that Mike Knox can't have his presence known at Nuff said. Wants to ensure it with a stipulation. As Tyrus will not budge. Oh, tag is made. Rolando with the blind Here comes tag. Rolando with the blind tag. Knox is a powerhouse, but you are not going to outpower You know, you wow. got to give it to Rolando. Tyrus. I'm such a fan. He just doesn't back down to anybody. Doesn't matter the size, it doesn't matter the strength. Got a lot of heart. Mm, that is a and terrible that's move. That's that spectacular dance. Mm. It's, it might be a terrible move, but you got to give it to him. You got to give it up to him, Mike. And now, no, no, Tyrus is no. just okay, perplexed. No. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. I mean, I'm not oh mad at him. Gosh, I'm mad at him. I'm not mad wow, at him. Wow, that all. confidence is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's oh, tough. Oh. Damn. Uh, wow. That Tyrus and B F T. That was that was the match. That Game was over. it. Uh oh. The tongue and death grip was all it took. Oh my God. B F T didn't break a sweat. Knox and Cardona are going. They lost. To be. Tyrus picks the stipulation. I would Rolando, want to be Rolando completely failed them. I wouldn't want to be Rolando right now. Dealing with Cardona and Knox and after that. Oh my God. And they got to go share a locker room. Gentlemen, now. it is official. Wow. You get to pick the stipulation for the world title match at Nuff Said. I'd say congratulations, but I don't think a little guy even saw it coming. Uh, well, even if he saw uh, it coming, what was he going to do about it? it? Nothing and like it. And you don't have to wait. I can tell you what the stipulation is right now. It's going to be one on one, me. And the internet champ, no outside interference, nobody in anybody's corner. You and me to a finish to we can figure out who is the undisputed NWA World Heavyweight Champion. I need Knox. I need Knox. I got to be out there. We got to think about this. Not this time, Jeezy. What did you think was going to happen? You heard it, Kyle. Saturday night, Tampa, Florida, the NWA World title will be on the line. Pre-order the pay-per-view now. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you in Tampa.